Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to tell you about kidney shrinkage. Are you suffering from kidney shrinkage? Or do you know someone else who is suffering from this disorder? Don't worry. Watch this video till end and you will get to know everything you need to know about kidney shrinkage. What are its causes? What are its effects? And what steps can be taken to cure this disease? Let's start with the very first question. What is kidney shrinkage? Well, it is a disease in which the kidney size becomes smaller compared to its regular size. Now, we will try to understand why kidney shrinkage is found in patients with kidney failure. Let me tell you, your kidney does not fail to work automatically. It fails due to some reasons and the main reason is high blood pressure. Yeah, high blood pressure. Do you know what exactly it means to have high blood pressure? Our heart pumps blood with some force. If due to some reason this force increases, it starts pumping the blood at a very higher rate. This situation is called high blood pressure. That extra force due to which blood pressure becomes high further affects and damages your kidneys. Confused? Well, let's understand how that happens. As the blood enters the kidney for filtration, it reaches the nephrons. This fast moving blood hits a particular spot in the kidney with an impact and it keeps on hurting that area again and again. Due to this continuous pressure exerted on that spot every second by the blood, the cells of that particular spot begin to inflame first. After that, the cells of that area gradually become harder with time. This is why it is just because of increased blood pressure. And as the kidney tissues become harder, the kidneys start shrinking. The biggest concern with shrinkage is that the blood pressure gets higher and higher as the kidney starts shrinking. It is because cells of the kidney don't get blood properly due to shrinkage. As a result, they also don't get the required amount of food and oxygen. So to get proper nutrition, they send a signal to the heart to pump the blood at higher rates. For sending this signal, the kidney secretes a hormone called ADH, antidiuretic hormone. This hormone goes to the pituitary gland and releases a call to increase the pumping of the blood. And as the blood pressure increases, the damage of the kidney also increases, shrinks more and more and forms a quite difficult cycle to break. That is why in all kidney failure patients, blood pressure is found to be uncontrolled. The kidney gives a signal to increase the blood pressure, which further damages the kidney itself. Till now, we have discussed kidney shrinkage along with its causes and effects. Now, it's a time to talk about the prevention measures and the cure of this disease. Since our kidneys are shrinking, what should be our main point of concern? Can you think? Obviously, to control the leading cause of kidney failure and this is nothing but uncontrolled blood pressure. This needs to be controlled as soon as possible by doing whatever needs to be done or taking any medicine that can handle it. This will break the cycle which was causing damage to the kidney. This way we can ensure that the kidney will not further damaged. As the immediate next step, we need to cure the damage that has already been caused. Suppose your kidney is 60% damaged till now. It means your creatinine level should be around 4 and only 40% of the kidney is working properly. Now, if the increased blood pressure is controlled, this 40% of the kidney will start performing 60-70% to 70 of work. Can you guess how? 
This is because the kidney has a unique property to increase its function. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Sometimes a person donates one of the kidneys to someone else. Still, the creatinine level or urea level of that person does not increase. Can you think about how this is possible? The reason is simple. This happens because the kidney increases its function according to need. Therefore, this particular property of the kidney should be used for all kidney failure patients. 40% of your kidneys are working properly. If kidneys increase their function at least by 20%, then creatinine comes down to around 2 and 60% of kidneys are now working. This will further ensure that the patient does not need dialysis and a kidney transplant. And I guess you must have understood that the main reason behind kidney shrinkage is high blood pressure. And without controlling this blood pressure, we cannot proceed with further treatment. Neither we can increase the function of the kidney nor can we bring down the creatinine level. So that is why the first treatment which needs to be done is control the increased blood pressure. The second is to retain the functionality of the kidneys by protecting it from further damages. With gradual improvement, your creatinine level falls and the level of urea also starts decreasing. This was the complete story of kidney shrinkage. I hope I was able to clarify all your doubts. If you need any kind of further help, you can contact us on the number flashing on your screen. A team of well-qualified doctors from Shriyas will help you with free of cost solution to all your kidney related problems. You can also visit us after making an appointment. Before you leave, please subscribe to our channel for more such health related videos in the future. And yes, don't forget to share this video with someone who you think need to watch this. Thanks for watching.